Welcome back once again, everybody. It is 8-24-2018. That is August 4-30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. A uh, few significant things to talk about, including another volcano that has just gone off in Europe. Actually, Europe's biggest volcano, uh, Mount Etna, is currently spewing lava up into the air. What else is new? Why not? Uh, you are looking at Hurricane Lane right now. Um, taking on some very interesting forms. Check out these little furry marks. It almost looks like some sort of jellyfish or a fur ball. But um, we can see this thing. It actually hooked its north way. And now it is beginning to hook a little bit towards the east. And that's what we were worried about. We were worried about this thing possibly coming right into Maui. Already causing, uh, like we spoke about in the previous video, massive amounts of flooding. Um... Parts of these islands are expected, as of right now, to get up to 40 inches of rain, guys. That is basically a little, well, a significant amount less than Hurricane Harvey when you're talking about 60 inches of rain, but 40 inches of rain. So this is clearly a rainmaker, lots of moisture. These bands you see sticking out, um, very, very anomalous looking I, I i could stare at this for hours very very cool looking system here um obviously very dangerous system i don't want you to think that uh we're saying cool as if yes let's go let's see what this thing can do uh the people of in hawaii are very scared they are preparing for this they've already prepared for this um and like i said we've already had massive massive flooding in a lot of the islands if not every single one of them it's only going to get worse as this thing approaches close to Maui and um, other parts of these outer Hawaiian islands. So um, these are the current tracks for this storm. Now they are a little bit all over the place, but nonetheless, they all take them right into that pocket where no matter where this thing is, every single island will be affected being that the storm is actually bigger than the mainland of uh, Hawaii itself. So... Uh, there's no getting around this. This storm is taking place right now as we speak. Um, we're thinking about these people. Um, they're losing power. They have no way to get around. It's just a very unfortunate situation, especially when you're dealing with people that live on islands. So um, a bit of a time frame. I guess by Friday, 2 p.m., they're expecting this thing to have hooked back towards the west. Uh, 2 p.m. Friday here already dumping rain this entire time you see the purple here um clearly until saturday 8 a.m this thing will be affecting these islands and could even be affecting them as late as saturday by 8 p.m even though the storm has already passed these islands uh the storm surge the waves the rain uh again a very very just unfortunate situation similar chart here telling you where the warnings and watches are Tropical storm warnings for the big island and then hurricane warnings and watches for the remaining islands. All right, guys, on to Mount Etna. This is a volcano in Europe um, that um, is active. This thing has gone off a few times um, in our lifetime, absolutely. Um, I don't think there's been any major eruptions with this, but for this thing to go off once again during this time of chaos in the world is just like... What else is new? You know what I'm saying? Here's a website for you. Etna Volcano Updates and Eruption News. Etna Volcano Volcanic Ash Advisory. Um, Strombolian Explosions OBS VADTG. Um, that would be 24-0800Z. So that basically means volcanic ash is launching into the air. Um, they have um, actual visuals of lava being shot 150 feet into the air. Uh, so this is a, a full-blown eruption going on. And again, this is a volcano that has erupted in the past. You can see as we scroll down here, uh, May 28th, 2018, at a volcano update, earthquake swarms underneath eastern and western flanks. So they were concerned about the earthquakes around the area. I can verify this in the last couple days. Uh, her, uh, Volcano Etna is actually right here, if you can see it. If I back up a little bit, keep your eyes on this area. You can see there has been volcanic activity, uh, some of it thousands of miles away, but nonetheless, there has been, um, not volcanic activity, uh, earthquake activity going on in this area. So whether that led to this eruption or not, uh, whether it's something else leading to the eruption, the fact that uh, there are volcanoes going off left and right all over the Ring of Fire, 
massive earthquakes. We got the hurricane going on in Hawaii. It's just one thing after another, guys. So let me uh, leave you with this. Right now, this is current time GFS model, which they are relying on right now. They have actually written articles about how the GFS is more accurate than not this time. Even though we've been getting criticism about the GFS model, I will compare it to the European as we go through. Uh, my, co my cause for concern is right here. We are in August 24th, which is today, Friday. If we move in one more frame here, you can see this thing drops down to 969 millibars in pressure. Um, and the previous frame shows 981. So that is a pretty big drop, which means this thing possibly could be strengthening just before getting into the pocket of the islands. And I believe that is what's causing the massive amounts of rain. This thing is still collecting moisture uh, because we are still within that 80 degree, 79 degree temperature water. So we need that 80 degrees to keep these storms sustained. And if you watch afterwards, according to the GFS, this thing does its thing with Hawaii, then kind of rolls off, and then check that out. Kind of reforms as it heads towards Typhoon territory. So that would make it the second um, Pacific hurricane in a row that not only passes Hawaii, but then enters Typhoon territory. So very, very rare situations going on all over the world. Uh, but I felt like I should bring that to your attention. There are videos out there about this volcano already. Um, I saw them, and I felt like it's something that you guys need to know about. You can see here how this thing is taking on sort of a foggy shape. You can kind of make out the eye there. But again, this image here is just... I could stare at this all day. Check out these bands that are just coming off of this thing. And once again, the direction is what you want to look at. Because we can remember this storm was way down here. It began to hook north. A lot of the models, including the European model, had this thing coming out this way. But we can clearly see um, an eastern hook back towards the island, preferably Maui. And then we get onto the outside islands after that. But these bands that stick out straight, it's almost like a sun or a jellyfish. Just very, very weird-looking anomalies with this storm. And, um... That's basically what I got for you guys. That is the update for now. And of course, later on this evening, I will have another update. Uh, we are pumping these videos out because people need to know what is going on. I got Caroline with me sending me links left and right. Uh, so you guys can thank her down below as well. But um, anyone that wants to check out Mount Etna and its history, just go to Wikipedia. Type in Mount Etna and you will see that is the biggest... Um, volcano that European has that Europe has to offer us you could see here this is where we looked at on Google Earth we can zoom in a little bit and take a uh, satellite view Mount Etna right there very very big volcano obviously the reason why it is the biggest in Europe uh, big area uh, we've had ground shaking in this area so you know what? There it is. Another active volcano, guys. All right, I'm going to leave you with that. I'm going to get started on our next update. I hope everyone's having a good day. For those of you that are not in these areas, if you are, please stay safe. Um, keep an eye on that local weather. Your local weather is the go-to, especially when you have situations like this going on. And we are obviously near Sicily at the same time. All right, guys, thank you so much for listening. You will hear back from us very shortly. Have a great day. Bye-bye.